So I've just picked up uh, what we're going to use for the framing in the bus now. I'm going to use a uh, cube lock. It's 25.4 by 25.4 mil aluminium square tubing. I've bought it from Caprell and I'm at Springwood at the moment. I was suggested this by a couple of people through the Facebook site so thanks guys for those that um, gave me the information it was really handy so let me show you the stuff that I've bought I got 12 lengths of the aluminium tubing they're 6.5 meters long each so I've driven the bus of course to get it so it'll all fit in and I've got an assortment of connections uh, two sections and there's other sections to join them together so that's included and all up I was very surprised with the price now this will do both the beds with um, with a, a hinge lock top and it came to $341.22 so huh, I'm quite impressed with that that's really cheap so anyway guys um, we will be getting into the bed this week so that's great Good morning all. Okay, so today we're starting on cutting the frame for the beds. I've also made up a jig for my um, circular saw. That way it can run along the, the side here, always giving me a straight cut. And that way I've also got on here a aluminium blade for the saw so I um, made a little channel for two of the bits of square tubing to run through so I can measure it up and I can push it through goes through the other side comes out there I measure it up where I put the line on the square tubing I know there's a line for the circular saw so I've just got to line that up and cut and I know I'll get a straight cut for the same size for each piece that I'm cutting. I'm doing doubles because most of the time it's going to be the same length for two. Good morning guys. Well today I'm continuing on making the frame for the beds. I've been using a circular saw with a aluminium cutting blade on it but it's not the same as using a mitre compound saw so what I did yesterday is I went out and I bought one and that has made so much difference to the way the cuts are being made on the aluminium. There's the mitre saw that I bought just a cheap Zito one but it did the job yesterday really well cutting a whole lot of them I got it from Bunnings and it was a uh, hundred and seventy nine bucks so these are the new ones that I've cut and as you can see they're nice and square to the connectors I've also made the lid opening for the bed so it's nice and square whereas the first one is not so great so I might have to um, pull it apart and just straighten up the edges and maybe cut a few pieces to make it the right length again now I'm going to continue to put the rest of this bed together there's a few cuts I miss so I'll have to do them However, it shouldn't be too long before it's all together.
as is always the way, I didn't have enough stuff, so I had to go to Bunnings again. Anyway, I had to pick up some more tea pieces because I didn't have enough to finish my side of the bed. As always, Bunnings is my favourite port of call. This is what I was missing, the tea pieces for it. Uh, as you can see, most of it's put together. I've just got to now put it together where I was missing the tea pieces. Silly me has <laughs> measured wrong, even though I was always taught to measure twice, cut once. I measured twice, cut once and still got it wrong. So this length here, this is the this is the top hinge part of the bed. The slats will sit on here and the mattress on here, but it'll also um, lift up so we can get under it. I uh, didn't take into account the little 200 um, section so I've now got to cut all these main beams down to fit so pull it apart again and cut it anyway guys just <laughs> make sure you double check everything triple check even all right I'm using the square to make sure that my corners are square once I've squared them up I've drilled some screws in there now I'll do the other end, hopefully that should be square, but we'll have a look and then we can do this one. Alright guys, so uh, I've gone around and put screws in to hold it in square. So it's nice and nice and level and firm. Looking good. I've also put in the piece that's um, going to be fixed. This will have um, bed slats across it. What I've done is I've done it from the bottom of the bed. I've drilled holes down through and then used what I used 8 by 20, 8 gauge 25 mil uh, metal screws. So now that I've put that top bit on I can now go ahead and put my hinge on for the top section where the hinges will go on and that will give me my lift up section. So that's what I'm going to do now.
as I start to install the bed frames onto the bus I want to make sure everything is as square and level as possible on both sides of the bus and both the bed frames are equal. So I'm using my square and my level to check all the corners of the bus to the frame also to the opposite frame and make sure everything's equal so it's a bit of a slow process but as we go through it's going to work out really well in the long run so it's best spending the time to make sure everything's working level and as true as possible as you can in the bus because as we all know it's not that easy There it is, attached and sitting up against the wall. As you can see, I've cut all the slats for the beds. They are 19mm thick ply. They are 50mm wide by, oh, one is 540 and the other one will be uh, 200. Alright guys, I've got the first lot of slats in, all the way down. I'm doing the second lot on this side. Now what I'm doing is I'm using a 55mm spacer on either side. The slats are 50mm wide. I'm using 21mm, sorry, 19mm uh, plywood, so I'm just putting the spaces in, bring it up, countersinking the holes. I'm just using a countersinking bit. And then once I've countersunk them, I'm um, using a 8 gauge 30 mil metal screw. So it's going through the wood easy because it's pre-drilled and then straight into the square tubing. So that's what I'm doing all the way down. Once I've finished this side, then I've got to cut the edge bits and do them the same on either side. The other thing that I'm doing at the hinges, I've had to cut away some of it so it'll sit flush over the hinge. So I'm doing that in three spots because there's th three hinges. So one at each end and one in the middle. I've done it on this side a problem on this side here where I've got to put the other slats as I said I've left a 55 mil gap the battens are 50 mil or the slats are 50 mil so when I come up it will go in between that so no problem at all so they're all staggered the same way all the way down and on the other side as well I've sanded all these ones and fitted them 
Now I've got to do this side here. They're all cut and they're all pre-drilled. Ready to go. Just got to sand them down. And then I can install them. So I've got this side. And that side to do. So 32 of them all up. guys I've got one side on as you can see I've cut all the other ones and I'll just show you how I did it bear with me as I'm holding the phone with one hand okay so what I did is I I set the the bit of timber up against where I had to cut and of course there's a bow, or sorry, not, it's not perfectly straight along here, so I have to um, scribe it. So what I did, I got my little level, and down the bottom, just there, there was a gap. So what I did, so all I did is I put the pencil in there. I held it against there, and I just... With my other hand, I pulled it up and it scribed a line and followed the, the curve of the bus. And as you can see, <laughs> it's pretty well spot on. And I've done that on all four edges. So now all I have to do is I've countersunk where I'm screwing in. I'm not going to fix these permanently at the moment. Uh, of course, we've still got all the electricity and plumbing to run here, so... I'm going to have to cut out little sections for the plumbing and electricity run through. So I'm just putting, I think, five screws in for the time being to hold it. Uh, same on all the corn, uh, on all the panels. The front ones I might fix because I'm not going to have to take them off. So once I've screwed these front panels on, as you can see, I've I've put the the lip up to be level here and then the front panel will come out and be level against here on either side so you'll only see the front panel and eventually once i'm close to being finished the whole bus all the exposed all the exposed sections of plywood are going to be covered in aluminium composite paneling it'll be a gloss white so it'll be nice and shiny um, when it's finished so you won't see any of this plywood anywhere so it'll stay like that till basically closer to the end that's why all these are countersunk because the uh, aluminium composite paneling has got to sit flush on the panel so that's why they're all countersunk and wherever it's going to be they'll all be countersunk all right guys I'm going to get on to the other three and then cut the two front panels and then the beds will be basically done <laughs> 